Hi everybody, it's Patrick. So today I thought it'd be fun to talk about the ball of aluminum foil. If you've read the book or you've seen me on TV or you've you know read about me in newspapers, magazines, whatever, the aluminum foil ball pops up often. And the reason I love the ball of aluminum foil is it is the very best way to remove static. It's better than fabric softener. It's better than dryer sheets. You toss this in the dryer and for the next 30 to 60 trips through the dryer, this is gonna absorb static better than anything you've ever used. And I'm gonna kinda of tell you why, sort of how it works, what to do, etc. But the first thing I'm gonna tell you is kinda of how to make one. And I know it seems pretty self-explanatory, but I've kinda of figured out a trick to make it a little better. The first thing you do is take your aluminum foil and you want about a yard, right? You want about a yard of aluminum foil. Go. So, a yard of aluminum foil, and you're going to get the best results if you crumple the ends toward the middle. So you kind of roll it this way. Okay. And then you make it into a ball about the size of a softball. You want it a little bit bigger than like a baseball, about the size of a softball. And then you just toss this in the dryer. Toss it in the dryer and it's gonna collect static actually in all the air pockets that are in the, the ball. So, you know, you can imagine when we crumple it, there's all these little air pockets in there and they're what, they are going to collect the static. That's the reason you can only use one. If for some reason you have two and you put them in the dryer and they touch each other, they discharge all of the static back into the clothes. So you only put one in the dryer. It will not harm your fabric. I, that's a question that comes up often. When you put it in the dryer for like 10 seconds, it's gonna get really kind of smooth and there's not gonna be any little rough points or whatever. You can actually, if it worries you, you can actually roll it like on the table or something and knock those little corners off. But I find when you put it in the dryer for just a few seconds, it's fine. So you put it in the dryer and what it will do is it will continue to sort of crumple on top of itself and it'll keep getting smaller and smaller. When it finally gets about the size of like a walnut, then it's basically compressed to the point that it no longer has air pockets. When you get to that point, just toss this in recycling and make yourself a new one. When you use it, the first time you use it, you may think I'm crazy, which people do, it's fine. But once you use it a couple of times, you'll be amazed at how much ends up in your lint trap. And that's because all of our clothes have a little bit of a static charge and they're holding lint and it all ends up in the trap. If you have a pet, I mean, you'll almost have a new pet in there. It's, there's so much, there's so much pet hair in the lint trap. Super easy to use, super economical. It's totally green, it's great. It's one of those things that I think is just a really wonderful trick. And I just kind of wanted to explain how it worked, what it did, etc. So thanks so much. Um, follow me and subscribe if you want to know when I pop out these videos. Otherwise, I hope you have a really great day. Thanks, bye.